Hello, it's Ruth Hull. I'm trained as a homeopathic doctor and an integrative health consultant, and I help people who are struggling with fatigue and burnout. Today, I'm going to give you three things you should never do when you're trying to change your health and you have a family. <laughs> you know, again and again and again, I see People, they come to me, they really want to change their health, they want to change their diet, they want to start all these new routines, all these new habits, eat these different things, give up gluten, give up this, give up that. And the next time I see them, they've given up on their new ideas and their, what they want. The reason being because they can't get their family to back them. They can't get their new lifestyle to work with their family. And it's not always easy to recommend to people what they should do and how they can get things to work with their family. So I'm just going to tell you the three things I've noticed with people over time, um, three common things that people do and end up failing in their new health regime. The first thing that a lot of people do is they go home and they want to change everything in one go. So an example is somebody comes to me with um, chronic fatigue and we go through their um, what they're eating and how they're feeling and that person decides that they're going to give up gluten and they go home and um, they try giving up gluten, but they want to just cut it out of their lives as soon as possible. They go home, they go through the cupboard, they throw anything with gluten out the house, they buy all this gluten-free bread, they, um, you know, they, they change everything in one go. <laughs> and <clears throat> that is fine if you don't have a family. But if you have children or if you have a partner, husband or wife who does not want to give up gluten, who thinks you're crazy, it's going to end up in arguments. Um, I actually had um, one client whose partner started cooking him more cakes than ever before. So he would get home from work and there would be a cake cooked and he'd say no thanks I don't want it and she would get really upset saying but I've spent ages cooking this cake and he said he felt it was almost as if she was doing it on purpose it's funny the things that um trying to it's funny when we try and change habits or we try and change a certain way of living it's funny how our partners react or our family reacts because people don't like change so the first mistake is trying to change everything too dramatically. Instead, just make tiny little changes, tiny little tweaks or adjustments that people don't really notice. For example, if you want to give up gluten or you want to give up grains, instead of cooking pasta, just cook um, potatoes. <laughs> make a potato salad, mashed potato, baked potato, a potato bake. You know, just simply um, do potatoes instead of pasta and don't say anything. You know, it doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be dramatic. If you um, just say you want to become vegetarian, just uh, simply slip in, just start eating more vegetables and start eating less meat but not in a big dramatic way. So no one really notices. You can do the big, the big dramatic ways if you're single or if you live with a family who's got your back and they're behind you. But a lot of families don't like change. A lot of people don't like change. So you've got to sneak in those changes, small, small changes. Once they're used to not having their pasta every night, um, then you can make another change. Okay, so that's the first mistake is trying to change everything in one go. The second mistake, and um, this is something that I've, I've done before as well, is you try to change your routines to fit your new lifestyle, when in fact, you should fit your new habits or your new lifestyle into your normal existing routines. So an example from my life is when I wanted to give up gluten, my um, 
daughter usually gets my wife I've got two daughters my one daughter usually comes home from school and we always have a cup of tea and a biscuit together ever since she was tiny it was always our time to sit and have tea and biscuits and it's a lovely special time but then when I gave up gluten it's like oh and then she would have her biscuit and I'd be like ah and then we started like just losing that routine and then I gave up and started having tea and biscuits again <laughs> because the routine is special. So really what I should, should have done and what I, I ended up doing the second time around is keep my routine, but instead of the biscuit, just have a little like health ball or have some nuts or um, jerky or biltong, you know, something like that. So don't try and change who you are or what you do just add to it, just adjust it, just tweak it. So that's the second mistake is people change their routines, things they have been doing for years because they think they're unhealthy when really you should be taking the thing that you do, the thing that is already a habit and tweaking it, adjusting it or building on it. And then the final mistake, which is the biggest, biggest mistake something I'm very guilty of as well and something I see all the time especially and I apologize to you mums out there but I see this especially in women who have children so in the mums I see this a lot is that you've decided that you need to change the way you eat therefore the whole family must change the way they eat at the same time Again, for example, you've decided you want to give up sugar because you know how bad it is for you. Therefore, your kids are not allowed sugar and you change it just like that. <laughs> and then your kids end up furious. It becomes a battle of wills. You know, um, so that is really, I think, the biggest mistake I see. Um, you decide you want to be vegetarian, therefore the whole family has to be vegetarian. You decide you want to give up gluten, therefore there's no gluten in the house. And it doesn't work. It's not sustainable. It's just going to cause chaos and stress and problems. So your health journey is yours. And you've got to make it fit in with your families. You can't really make them fit in with you. You've got to make your health journey fit in with who you already are and what you already do. Okay, it is difficult. <laughs> it really is difficult to change your health. And um, that's why you've got to take it one step at a time. You've got to do one tiny little change at a time. This is if you have a family. If you don't have a family it's very different and it can be very easy to change your health um, if it's just you if you're just cooking for yourself um, but when you're cooking for a family when you um, have to live as part of a community that really does change things so you need to before you choose a new ha health habit before you choose a new diet a new health regime really think about how it will impact your family and how you can work it into your family. I'm not saying don't do it, <laughs> but think about it. Chat to your family as well. Make sure they're behind you and they support you because if your family, if you get home from work every day and your partner's cooked you another beautiful chocolate cake and you love chocolate cake and you're trying to give up sugar, it's just such a battle. You know, your family need to be there. They need to have your back. They need to support you. But at the same time, they don't have to do what you're doing. <laughs> okay, so those are three mistakes I see again and again and again. I've also made them myself many times with many new health habits I've tried to try to get. So um, if you are wanting to change your health, just make it fit in with your family. Alrighty, that's all for now. Bye. <laughs>